There are a lot of different ways that um, mental illness and substance use disorders are connected. So one way that they're connected is um, is genetically. We know that there are genetic markers that are um, either close to each other on different on the same chromosomes or that are somehow related. So that we know that, that particularly with depression and anxiety um, and substance use disorder, there's some genetic link. We don't know much more beyond that, but we know that, that there's genetic links. People who grow up in traumatic environments um, are more likely to develop both mental illness and substance use disorders. People who have mental illnesses, particularly anxiety and depression, are more likely to start using substances earlier at a younger age. And so that, in the, in the younger you start using substances, the more likely you are to develop a substance use disorder. If you look at, just generally speaking, in the population, the percent of people that have both a substance use disorder and a mental illness, it's not incredibly high, it's about 20% overlap. But if you look at people with a serious substance use disorder, um, they're much more likely to have a mental illness. So for example, um, people with opioid use disorders um, are about twice as likely to have a mental illness as people um, just with a mild or moderate like alcohol and marijuana use disorder. You know, I think that people at the National Institute of Drug Abuse really explain this really well when they say the drug has hijacked your brain. It's hijacked the, the part of your brain that, um, that addresses pain and provides pleasure. It's sort of the American way that we pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and we take care of ourselves, right? And, and to think about someone who, um, who has a mental illness and, um, and just can't do that. The costs are hard to calculate because there's so many different ways to calculate the economic costs of any condition, but they're very high. If we look at disability adjusted life years or if we look at um, lost productivity, we're talking about billions and billions of dollars. Lost productivity due to particularly depression um, and substance use disorders, it's in the top 10. Um, conditions of, uh, of, of morbidity, we call it, what, what, the, the, um, what causes lost productivity. So it's very high. 